Port Newark is almost entirely computerized. Loading and unloading are guided by GPS. That means a hacker could bring it to a halt. Coast Guard Vice Admiral Chuck Michelle saw it happen in one eastern seaboard port. It was believed to be sort of a, uh, just a, uh, a vandal or, or just a person messing around actually blocked that GPS signal from that computer's ability to do that and the port came to a halt. The vice admiral was the keynote speaker at day two of a symposium at Rutgers Cook Campus on maritime cyber security. New Jersey's director of Homeland Security called maritime cyber attacks a growing concern. New vulnerabilities in the cyber realm do allow actors to commit a number of cyber crimes, including altering the manifests and container IDs, disrupting terminal operations, and stealing pricing documents. Is it mischief? Is it theft? What's the motive? Most of it is mischief and theft. And it goes beyond that, apparently. We have everything from sort of hacktivists to terrorists to cyber vandals to nation states attacking private companies. Admiral Michel previewed a new Coast Guard strategy for protecting against cyber attacks and talked about how disruptive they can be. It can be very disruptive. We've had instances where uh, offshore drilling platforms have, their dynamic positioning systems have, uh, have come off place. We've had uh, some internal threats where disgruntled employees have erased data. Cyber attacks are now moving uh, into a realm where they're uh, directly damaging physical equipment. So it's not just confusing computers and making screens change color and irritating things like that. Now we're getting pretty serious. Hackers can also jam or spoof a navigational signal which can fool the mariner. Well, if you don't know where your position is and you're out on the water, you're led to believe you're in a position that, that you otherwise aren't. You know, you could, you could run aground, you could run into another vessel. A hacker could also start a war, said one speaker. For example, by creating a fake electronic Iranian ship that would appear on computer to be off the coast of Israel. Did anybody read about Iran hacking into Las Vegas sands? I mean, this is a brave new world when you've got nation states actually attacking, for lack of a better word. We've got great partners in the maritime industry, and they've done a great job with physical security. We want to replicate that work in the cybersecurity realm. You don't often think about how vulnerable the shipping industry is to cyber attack, but once you hear the bad things that could happen, it's good to know a room full of experts is working to prevent it.